Welcome to Learn Data with Mark. This is the second video in a series about building a real-time analytics application on HTTP access logs. And in this video, we'll learn how to parse access log entries to pull out the individual components. Now you'll remember that at the end of the first video, we'd got to the point where we had the access log entries in Apache Kafka, and we'd originally had them in a simulator, we'd written them into access log files, and then we had a tool called FileBeat that was putting them into Kafka. Uh, and where we ended was, we were on this on the terminal here, and we had a message from Kafka, and FileBeat had put a bunch of metadata, and then we had our log entry message uh, in the middle. Uh, and so that's where we're gonna continue from in this video, um, we're, but we're gonna be focusing only on those messages in Kafka, and then we're gonna manually work with work to extract the components um, using Python. Okay, so let's go back to the terminal. Uh, and so we're gonna use a tool called kcat, uh, which allows us to basically cat uh, a Kafka stream. So let's write that command. So we need to pass in a consumer mode, pass in uh, the, the location of the broker, the topic, name and then the number of messages so in this case one um, and then we'll pipe that through jq onto the screen so there we go we've got one of those messages uh, but we're only interested in the message um, property so let's just update our command to do that uh, and so there we go we've got we've got just the message uh, on the screen so what we're going to do now is we're going to open visual studio code uh, and what you can see here is uh, the outline of an access logs parser class uh, and inside it, uh, we're using the Apache Logs library. Um, so this is a library that you can use to parse uh, HTTP access log entries. Uh, and we're using um, a standard uh, format, but there are other um, parsing options available. Uh, and you can see a list of them on the mod log config page uh, that we can see on the screen now. Uh, so if we come back to Visual Studio Code now, and we come down a bit, we've now got our function that we're going to use to pass the message. Uh, and so you can see that it's extracting the, the host and the time, we've got the headers and the directives, and we're putting all of those into a dictionary uh, that we're then returning at the end of the function. And then if we scroll down even more, if this file is run from the command line, we're iterating over standard in, passing each line to the log parser, and then outputting the result as JSON. Uh, so let's have a look at what it does just with this uh, simple setup. So if we come over to the left-hand side and let's pipe that Kafka message through our log parser. So there we go, so we've run that. And so you can see now we've got a new message and it's got the host, it's got the time, it's got the referrer, it's got a user agent, and it's also got a request. Uh, but what we wanna do is we wanna split that up a bit more. So we'll start with the request. Uh, so we're gonna write a bit of code that splits that request up. So we'll write, uh, the request is under percentage R, so let's just split uh, on that field uh, and we'll get the method, the URL and the protocol uh, and then let's append those to the dictionary. Uh, there we go. Uh, and now if we come back um, to the terminal, let's run it again and there we go. You can see those are at the bottom um, of our event. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is we want to parse that user agent. So see if we can get the pull out the individual parts of that. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code. We're going to use a library called HTTP Agent Parser, so let's import that. Uh, and now if we come back down, uh, we're gonna call that, that parser, uh, and then we'll get the results, and we'll also append those um, to the row dictionary. Uh, and then again, now we can go back to the, to the terminal, and let's run that. Uh, and so there we go. So we've pulled out the platform, the distribution, the browser, and there's also a field called bot, indicating uh, whether or not it was a bot that made the request. So that's good so far, but you can probably see there, there's probably a little bit of cleanup that we need to do. There are some fields that have null values, there are some that the names are not really very useful, and there are also some duplicate fields. Uh, so we're going to cheat a bit here, and we're going to use some, uh, some code that I wrote earlier. So let's just bring in that code. So we've got some code uh, that, that can be used to drop the fields that we don't need. So there's a list of those fields, and then we're just iterating uh, over the uh, dictionary and getting rid of those fields. Uh, and then we've got a bit of code to rename um, the fields where the name is not particularly friendly. So let's import that code. Uh, and then let's call both of those uh, bits of code in our function. And now if we go back to our command line and run that, then you see, there we go. We've got a much cleaner uh, event. Um, and so that's now ready to go back into Kafka again. Uh, so that's the end of this video. Um, so we've 
In this video, we've successfully been able to take like a message that was a, an access log message that was a string, and we've pulled out all the individual components. Uh, and so the idea in our next video will be that we're then going to write that back into another Kafka topic. Uh, so I hope to see you in that video.